everyone. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hello Aquarius, let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. Ooh, almost dropped the deck. <laughs> All right. Electrifying, electricity, yes. So some of you might want to literally watch out for your electricity, but there could be some electric kinds of dynamics going on for you this month. Um, surprising things that come out like, whoa, wait, huh? You know, wait, oh, <laughs> you know, and for some of you, this could very much be, oh, that's a nice little surprise. Oh, that was a nice solution for others. It's not going to be so great. It's going to be a shocking revelation about yourself. Um, some of you might be acting in a way that you catch yourself. You're like, wow, I just did this. I was, you know, driving down the road and I caught my actions. I was like, wow, I'm jumping to conclusions about this person who's driving too close to me. Maybe they were taught to drive <laughs> like that and, you know, they see nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm not comfortable with it, but who am I? Like, you know, I was taught a different way. You know, I got to watch judging that, you know what I'm saying? So you might have a moment where you're catching yourself judging, which people who say, oh, I never judge, they're they're lying, okay? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like if somebody stands too close, you're going to be like... <laughs> who's this fool standing way too close to me? What's going on here? You're going to have your moments. Everyone is different and it's okay. But what I'm talking about here is you might have this revelation about yourself. Like, wow, I do that a lot. Or wow, you know, I am a little harsh on people. I am a little demanding or whatever the case may be. That's for some of you. Again, it's a general reading. So we'll have to see. Okay. Got a card popping. Oh, we got two cards popping out. What do we have? What do we have? We have rhodochrosite acceptance. So that's the first one. And then we have sunstone empowerment. So it's interesting that these two are coming out together. There they are. There you go. Yes, I have lamps on. There's going to be a glare. Um, but let me feel this out. Because these, these definitely want to stick together. Yeah. It's very freeing when you get into a place of acceptance. That's where your empowerment lies. So when we're constantly fighting against something, we're constantly, um, sorry if I do, I just do one at a time. <laughs> when, when we're constantly fighting something and we are saying, no, I want it to be this way, this way, this way, you're not maybe dealing with a team, you're not being a, a team player, or maybe you're just wanting to hunker down and be in fear because you're like, well, I don't like where this is going. I don't know what the outcome is and it makes me feel insecure. So I'm going to clamp down and try to rebel. Well, that's not exactly <laughs> what you guys want to be doing this month. Accept your circumstances, accept what other choices people are making. And this is actually going to help you be abundant and empowered. So there's some realization that comes out of this. There's something like, oh, Things do work out pretty well on their own. I don't have to control everything. Or um, <laughs> if some kind of surprising opportunity comes up for some of you and it makes you feel so alive, you know, you accept it. Like literally you're accepting it. You're accepting the opportunity. You're accepting the way forward. You're not going to fight it. And boy, is it good. <laughs> so there is that empowerment card. Let's get more of a story here. Next up. Okay. So we have Stib Night conflict what might come along for some of you this month there might be this you know feeling reinvented kind of feeling but you're in conflict because well i love this opportunity but i don't want to leave my company i love this opportunity but you know i've been burned before in love partnerships and maybe you feel conflicted about moving on uh, this can also be conflicted between responsibilities so some of you are balancing things out quite a bit for there's some mommies out there that are going to be going back to work you're going to be going back to work and maybe you feel very very conflicted about it because oh you know I'm not there for my kids you, know, you might start beating yourself up over that but here's the thing kids are very very independent and resilient <laughs> you know what I mean I mean as long as it's not everything's in balance 
So if you stop beating yourself up, you can strike that balance, most certainly. But this just feels more like resistance. That's where a lot of the conflict is coming from. Um, yet for some others, again, it's a general reading, but for some others, this could be someone doesn't like the choice that you're making. And so there's a question of loyalty that comes up this month. You know that that's the company that's against my company. <laughs> How can you work for them? You're supposed to be my friend. You know, it, it could be some really kind of messy situations where you're really going to have to make a decision. Okay. Then we have Opal Joy. <laughs> if you make the decision, guys, these are great cards for you. You will be in your joy. You'll be very, very happy with the outcome, but be flexible. You know, not everything's going to go the way you maybe think it should or anticipate it. So just be ready for that. But definitely there's a lot of great things coming up for you. So let's just go back to this. Boy, these are so connected. Hold on. I was going to, I was going to connect the Stib Knight and the Opal card, which is joy and conflict. Like you resolve a conflict, you, you make a decision, you're moving on, but all these feel like, oh gosh, it's one stack. It's one stack. And what I mean by that is one energy flows into another, flows into another, flows into another. So you have to start with this one. If you don't accept, you're not going to be one of the people that ends up in a place of joy, <laughs> right? You're still going to be in the fight and wanting to blame everybody for where you are. So make sure you're not doing that. Okay. Let's get you a color card. Nice. So the color card is Aqua Experience Peace and Calm. The number is 33. You don't need to struggle anymore. This is floating down the lazy river. Does that mean don't take any action whatsoever? No, but it means, again, the fight is done. Let it be done. Float in your peace and calm, just like the card says. And if, if somebody does try to rattle you and they try to pull you, um, and again, we don't, that's almost like victimizing too. Oh, everybody's just so negative and they're pulling me in. It's not about that. If somebody is trying to beat you up because they want you to feel disempowered, you know, uh, people do that in a sneaky way of like, I don't know about that. Should you really be doing that? I don't know if you should be doing that. La, 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 la. You know, you just come back into your peace. <laughs> you come into your peace and you go your way because you've got, you've got some nice energy lined up here. Don't get pulled off the path. Okay. We're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.